Well guys, this is the Fox Pro Frame full face helmet I was wearing during my recent accident and as you can see it needs to be replaced. While looking for a replacement helmet I want to make sure it has all the good things about the Pro Frame and address the things I do not like that much of the Pro Frame. First of all the weight of the Pro Frame is around the 740 grams, fairly light for a full face enduro helmet. Very much like the Fitlock magnetic snap buckle, works really well and didn't came undone during my crash. I also like the good ventilation of the Pro Frame, 24 vents in total that provide for good airflow and heat can escape. It also has the MIPS system to protection of rotational forces. Not so sure how well it works, but in my case I had no head injuries so it must do something really well. Now the things I don't like so much with the Pro Frame. Firstly, the poor fit. The helmet sits very loose. I'm a medium size, I use the medium size pads, but it's not working for me. It, I think it's contributed by the insufficient padding in the inside of the helmet and the roof of the helmet. Also causing pressure points in the forehead, which is very, very annoying, exposing the sharp edges of the MIP system. And there is a squeaking sound. For the first weeks or even months of use, I always had a squeaking sound. It's not as noticeable on the trails, but it's very annoying. Enter the 100% Trajecta. This was the helmet on my mind for quite some time to replace the Pro Frame. In many aspects, the Trajecta is very similar to the Pro Frame. One noticeable difference is the weight. It's about 860 grams quite heavy but on the other hand it has a really good fit very snug around the head and there's not much movement it has a different system to protect you from rotational impact called the SRPS it has some rubber discs inside the helmet to absorb those uh, rotational forces it has a similar fitlock magnetic snap buckle so again plus it has also 24 vents for ventilation, works really well. It is well designed, it feels really robust. The shell is made out of polycarbonate, the same material used for the Fox Pro Frame. And finally the price, it retails in Australia for around the $400, but there are some good deals out there at the moment and you can get it for around the $300. Which again brings it in a very similar price point as the Fox Pro Frame. There you have it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Hope it was somewhat informative. If you have any additional questions, just drop them in the comment section and I'll come back to you. All right, ciao.